Today we are doing five things every football player needs in 2019, so stay tuned. My name is your boy Wagner, and if you guys like football videos, I would love it if you guys drop a sub. And today, we are doing five things that every football player needs in 2019. So, I post every Sunday, so stay tuned for videos. Um, so yeah, the first thing on this list that I put is the helmet. So, if you play tackle football, you know that a helmet is really important because you're going to be wearing this the whole game. And if your helmet is not a very good helmet, then it's going to be aching all game too and bugging you. So this is the Riddell Victor Youth Football Helmet. Um, I got this off of Amazon for $110. I'll put an image up right now of that. But this is the Riddell. So it is not a men's helmet, but you can, you're can. you not allowed to use youth helmets in um, high school football. So this is the Riddell Victor Youth. I don't know. Um, like if you guys, maybe it's different for your school. But yeah, this is the Riddell Victory Youth Football Helmet. Um, I would recommend this helmet because it's only $110 and you get pretty good comfort out of this. But if you guys want to step it up from the Riddell Victory Youth, you can go to the Riddell Speed, which I'll put an image up right now of the Riddell Speed. Um, or if you have the money to step it up even more, you can get the Riddell Speed Flex, which is the helmet that I have which has more comfort than the Riddell Victor Youth. But for the price, um, for the price, you definitely, um, definitely uh, sacrifice some comfort in this helmet. So I would recommend if you have the money to step it up. Cause I think, I think the Riddell Speed Classic is about $250, but it has different padding than the regular Riddell Speed. So the second thing that I have on this list is the Adidas 8.0 Prime Knit Shoe or just a cleat that is a really good cleat because you need a really comfortable cleat when playing football so it's not like aching because you'll be in this cleat all day you can use this for soccer or lacrosse also if you need the, um, but I just chose the Adidas Prime Knit 8.0 because it's just a really good new cleat by Adidas um, and it's very comfortable and very breathable and lightweight so I'd recommend this, but it is a little expensive. I also have the Under Armour Cam Newton shoes, which are a little cheaper than this. Um, this is $150, so it's pretty expensive. So yeah, I would recommend something just really comfortable for you and um, really lightweight and has good spikes on the bottom. So the third thing that I have on this list is the um battle oxygen mouth guard so i just got this thing a couple weeks ago um from dick sporting goods but you can also pick this up on amazon as you can see right here it is the american flag like the gray and or no the silver and black edition um yeah it's like an american flag battle mouth guard uh it's just like it's like tackle football mouth guard like um, it's, it's mostly designed for tackle football mouth guards, or tackle football players, but, um, yeah, here is where you put your mouth, as you can see right there, but, uh, yeah, I just like this because it has a huge hole in the middle where you can, um, like, just have as much oxygen as you can going to as you play, um, so yeah, also it has a connector to your helmet at the bottom right above the uh, battle sign, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty reflective, but um, yeah, you can connect it to your helmet as you play so you don't lose it. So that's one of the things that I really like about that mouth guard too. But the fourth thing that I have on this list is the um, Nike VaporJet 3 gloves. So these are specific gloves that I really like because here you guys can see it. They don't actually sell these anymore on the Nike website but I picked these up off eBay like a year ago for like 20 bucks or something, um, which is like a normal price for most gloves. So if you're looking for gloves, I would definitely recommend these because these are really comfortable and the, like when you catch a ball, like the stickiness on it is really good. So if you like pop in your washer, like if they get really dirty or anything and you take them out again, then they'll still be really sticky when you catch a ball. So that's what I really like about these. And also they have little holes all over the glove um, so it's really breathable and not so, uh, they don't get as, like, stinky or whatever, or it really smelly when you, like, when you're done, because you sweat a lot in your gloves, so this really helps, because they're really breathable. Um, 
yeah, I think I think you can pick pick, pick these up off eBay. I'll put an image up right now of them on eBay. Um, they're pretty cheap. They're like normal for any other gloves. Um, that's what, pretty much you're gonna get. So yeah. But the last thing that I have on this list is the um, Nike NBA socks. So if you guys watch my channel for a little bit, you know that I like my you know that I like my uh, padded socks. So I picked these up just at the Champion Store. As you can see, they're like NBA socks right there. But um, yeah, they have a lot of padding on the bottom of your foot and at the top of your foot. So my feet are really sensitive, so I really need a really good padded sock with a lot of comfort. So I picked these up and these work really well. There's Trigger and Nike socks. I'll put an image up right now. I think you can get them on, off of East Bay. Like any, any padded socks work, um, but I just recommend these because I'm, I ache a lot in my cleats, so I need something that really helps me throughout the game to keep that comfort and um, not, you know, aching all day because I'm usually in my cleats a lot. Also, you can use these for any sport. I use them for basketball too. I use them for lacrosse and pretty much anything, any sport that I do. So I would recommend these um, a lot. But yeah, that is the five things that I have on my list for five things every football player needs in 2019. So if you guys enjoyed that video, I'd love it if you guys drop a subscription on my channel. And um, I will see you guys next time on Sunday. So, see you guys next time. Bye.